And this morning, former President Donald Trump is facing a reworked indictment in the January 6th case filed by special counsel Jack Smith. The case was essentially frozen while waiting for the Supreme Court to rule on presidential immunity. The new indictment slims down the allegations against Trump, but still contains the same four criminal charges, including conspiracy to defraud the United States. Joining me this morning with a deeper dive is Nine News legal expert Whitney Trailer. Whitney, good morning. Good morning. What is the latest going on with this indictment? Let's start there. Yeah, well, the latest is as you, as you said in the lead in that they pared it down and really he tried to make the distinction, Jack Smith, between official acts and private acts. So it's the same four charges as you mentioned, but he um, emphasized uh, actions that President Trump, former President Trump took more as a candidate as opposed to what he was doing as president. So he took out some of the co-conspirators, he took out some of the official acts and made it tried to focus it on these private actions that he took. So the way these charges are now written in this new indictment, is that going to make it more difficult to prosecute? I think it's going to be significantly more difficult because now he's going to have to walk the fine line. I mean, the original indictment I thought was very strong. And then, of course, the Supreme Court came out with the immunity uh, saying that a former president or president can't be um, liable for official acts, which I actually disagreed with for a number of reasons. But I, I think it was, it makes it much more difficult now because some of the evidence that they were going to be able to use, they're not going to be able to use. So um, conversations with the DOJ, conversations with his chief of staff, all these types of things won't be able to be used as evidence and weren't included in this new indictment. So he's really having to walk this this tightrope between private actions versus public actions. So it limits what he can use as evidence. But the, it was a new grand jury that came back with this indictment. And the purpose of the new grand jury was so that the Trump defense team couldn't say, hey, they were already tainted. They had heard evidence that can't be used. So as everybody else at home knows, we are entering the home stretch of this presidential yeah. election. What is the likelihood that we see a trial before November? Uh, the likelihood is zero to none okay. at this point. I mean, it's so we're so close in. This actually complicates things. So the, the 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 judge and actually after the Supreme Court made its ruling, it remanded the case back down to the judge even before this new indictment to say, all right, what. Um, actions are prosecutable. And so now what Jack Smith did, and he actually included a memo on the new indictment saying, this is in light of the Supreme Court's ruling. We're trying to comply with the ruling and take out official acts and only put these personal acts. And so um, I, I think it's going to make it much more complicated and it, 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 we will not see a trial before November. And briefly, because we just have a few seconds yep. left, what is the next thing we can expect to happen here? So the next thing, Friday, there's uh, both sides are supposed to submit uh, written documents about what, to ha what should happen next. Then September 5th, there will be a status conference and then they'll try and get the case on, on track. But if anything happens, it would be next year. All right, Whitney, we appreciate you helping us break right. that down. Thank sure you thanks. very much.